Hello, hello, how are you doing? Welcome again to my channel. And this lesson comes from Muhammad Sheikh. And he asked me, teacher, we are waiting for a lesson on oral narrative. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to answer questions based on oral narratives and how to score the full marks. In most cases, the first question on this narrative section is always classify the above narrative. We will have two marks or one mark. So what is expected of you to do in this part? And you're supposed to do two things. You're supposed to identify the type of narrative and then give a reason for your answer. You're going to use the trickster narrative as our example. Trickster narrative. In your answer, you have to say to write trickster narrative and then give a reason for your answer. It's a trickster narrative because the hair tricks the elephant or the hair tricks the hyena and the second common question is give features of the above mentioned narrative so the narrative that we have mentioned in this case is trickster narrative so we are going to give the features of trickster narrative it has an opening formula that is long time ago depending with the narrative itself it has a closing formula my story ends there or maybe the small animal tricks the big animal. The other common question is features of oral narrative. And this question can be asked in a number of ways. The first way can be identify features peculiar to oral narratives evident in the above story. Or how can we tell this is an oral narrative? Or identify the features of oral narrative used in this story. So in that case, we are going to the general features of oral narratives. And we have many. The first one is personification. So check in that story if there is personification. This is whereby the non-living beings or the animals are given the characteristics of human beings. For example, animals talking in a narrative, that is personification. Two, we have the use of songs. If there is any song in the narrative, then that is a feature. We have the opening formula, e.g. once upon a time, long time ago. We also have the closing formula, my story ends there, and they live happily after. We have dialogue or direct address and this is whereby the two characters are having a conversation in a story in most cases it is indicated by the opening and the closing quotation marks we also have the fantasy and this is imagining of things that are unlikely to happen those are the common features of oral narratives so you have to look if in the narrative that you're reading one of these feature or two or three and then write them down. Be keen not to confuse between the features of oral narrative and the features of the above mentioned narrative. Next question. If you were to narrate the above story, how will you make it interesting? Or how will you capture the attention of your audience? And we have non-verbal cues. And we have so many of them have the facial expressions, the smiling, the frowning. We have the gestures, e.g. pointing. We also have dramatization, whereby you can walk like a certain animal or you can walk like a drunkard person. There is mimicry, whereby you can imitate the voice of someone or the, an animal in a certain narrative. And we also have body movement, among others. So if they ask you to do that, you have to read your narrative carefully and then identify is there an instance that you will need to dramatize? Is there an instance that you will need to mimic a voice? Is there an instance that you will need to use any gesture, e.g. waving, uh, pointing, and so on? Will you use the body movement? But how are you supposed to write your answer? Let's say, for example, in our story, we needed to dramatize. You have to say, 
I'll dramatize how the drunkard person works, that is while staggering. Or I will point the sky if the, your narrative is mentioning that. Or I will mimic the voice of a certain character in the narrative. You're not supposed to be general, like I will use appropriate facial expression, I will use appropriate gestures, I will use dramatization make sure you specify from the narrative the other possible question how to involve the audience in your narrative and i'm going to give you two ways first you can involve them by using a song or you can involve them by asking a question those are two ways and you also have the the question on the moral lesson and Take note of this, when you're giving the moral lesson, it's supposed to be in positive form, not in a negative form. For example, if you say, we should not be foolish like the hyena, that is, a very, that is very wrong. Instead, you can say, we should be wise not to be cheated. Characterization, you, are, you can be asked to give the character trace of the hair, the character trace of the hyena or any character in the narrative. You're supposed to identify and support it from the narrative. For example, Haina is foolish because he is tricked by a small animal that is the hare. Or maybe the hare is cunning because he was able to trick the Haina. You also have the question on economic activity. So when you are asked, identify one economic activity of the people in the narrative or the community in the narrative, you have to identify the activity itself. For example, the, uh, have, there is a mention of crops or something. The activity is farming. But if you say they are farmers, that is not a, an activity. Economic activity is farming because they grow yams. The economic activity is gathering because they're gathering fruits. The economic activity is trade because they exchange these goods and these from the narrative. The possible question is the function of the opening and the closing formula. We start with the opening formula and the most, the simple function is it signifies the beginning of a story. Two, it takes the audience from the world of reality to the world of imagination to capture the attention of the audience. And then we have the closing formula. The closing formula, one, signifies the end of a story. Two, it takes the audience back from the world of imagination to the world of reality. So those are the functions of the opening and closing formula. From the explanation, you see like when we are answering the narrative questions, we must support our answer with evidence from the narrative itself. And that is a must if you want to score the fourth marks. That is the end of our lesson today. I hope that you have learned something small, something new that is going to help you when answering your oral your narrative question. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. In case you have a request, let me know. And I wish you all the best. Bye-bye.